Rust isn't just for systems programming, web servers, or performance-critical tools. It's actually becoming a serious contender in game development. We're going to explore the Rust game development ecosystem. Look at the most popular libraries and engines. Let's jump in. Rust has several game development libraries, but the two most popular are GGEasy and Bevy. GGEasy, a lightweight, beginner-friendly 2D game framework inspired by Love 2D. Bevy, a modern ECS-driven game engine supporting 2D and 3D, with a focus on modularity, simplicity, and insane performance. There are others like MacroQuad Firox, but Bevy and GGEasy are where most developers start today. Let's begin with GGEasy. Imagine Love 2D but in Rust. It gives you a window, event loop, drawing APIs, sprites, fonts, audio. Basically everything you need to start making 2D games. Let me show you how incredibly simple GGEasy is. Create a new project and add GGEasy to cargo.toml. Now in main.rs write this code. We created a struct called GameState, where we store our game variables. In this case, just an X position. Then we implement event handler. This gives us two important functions, update and draw. Update runs every frame. This is where your game logic goes, physics, movement, AI, collisions. Draw is where we render everything to the screen. Every frame, our circle moves one pixels to the right. That's it. You have a basic animation loop in Rust. In main, we are configuring a 1280 by 720 window and building the game context. Then initializes a game state struct that holds an X coordinate starting at 100. Finally, event, run, executes the loop, continuously alternating between updating the state and drawing the frame to the window. This is why GGEasy is great for beginners. But if you want more power, more scalability, more modern design, then Bevy is where things get really interesting. Bevy is built around the ECS architecture, Entity Component System, which is a super efficient design, where entities are just IDs, components store data, Systems operate on components, and the result is scalability and performance that traditional OOP-style engines struggle to match. Let's build a simple bevy example together. We'll create a window, spawn an entity, add a sprite, and move it. Add bevy in cargo.toml. Now in main.rs write this code. All right, let me walk you through this. App, new, creates the engine. We add default plugins, window, input, rendering audio. All the basics are included. Then we add two systems. A startup system called setup runs once at the beginning. An update system called movement system runs every frame. Inside the setup function, we spawn a 2D camera required to draw anything. Then we spawn a sprite, which Bevy uses to render a rectangle. We create a specific entity composed of a blue 100 by 100 pixel sprite. A transform explicitly placing it at X equals minus 500. We also attach a custom component called moving which is just a marker type. Now in movement system, we query for any entity with a transform and a moving component. Once the application runs, the movement system executes every frame, update, utilizing a query to filter for entities tagged with moving and modifying their mutable transform to increase the X coordinate by 1.0, causing the blue square to slide continuously to the right. This results in a 2D box character sliding across the screen and you've just built your first Bevy game loop. Let me explain why I think Bevy is one of the most exciting game engines available today, in any language. Bevy gives you full ECS architecture, hot reload of assets, cross-platform rendering, 2D and 3D support, scenes, cameras, physics integration, highly parallelized system scheduler, modern rendering engine built on web GPU, active development and massive community growth. It's clean. It's fast, it's rusty, and it's only getting better. Let's make it a bit more interactive, handling keyboard input. Let's modify the movement system. This movement system enables four-directional movement by checking for arrow key inputs and updating the position of all entities tagged with the moving component accordingly. Now you can actually move the little square using arrow keys. Congratulations, you're building a game. A box is nice, but what about a character sprite? Assume we have a player image in the assets folder. We modify part of setup. We inject the asset server resource to load the player.png file and assigns it to the sprite components image field, replacing the previous solid color definition. Bevy will automatically load the image and display it as your player character. 
adding animation, sounds, tile maps, or physics is similarly straightforward. So which one should you pick? If you want a simple 2D framework, kind of like Love 2D or Pi Game, and you're building a platformer, a puzzle game, a simple 2D action game, or you just want to learn Rust through game dev, then GG Easy is perfect. But if you want a modern game engine, ECS architecture, huge scalability, both 2D and 3D, high performance, and a rapidly evolving community, then Bevy is the future. There is no wrong choice. Both are fantastic tools. And there we go. Your first introduction to Rust game development, complete with hands-on examples in both GGEasy and Bevy. Tell me in the comments what kind of Rust-powered game you want to build.